Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HGTV Test here. I have very good news for owners of the LG CX, GX, or even Samsung's 2020 QLEDs, such as the Q80T or Q90T, Q95T. Basically, it has been revealed that the Microsoft Xbox Series X, the upcoming next-gen console, will be using an HDMI 2.1 chip with 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth which is within the capabilities of these TVs. I think a few months ago there was an uproar when it was revealed that LG's 2020 OLEDs were only using 40 gigabits per second of HDMI bandwidth instead of the 48 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth found on last year's LG C9 or E9. And I think when I discussed this issue with my colleague Adam Fairclough over a Skype conference call, I think you know the quality was really bad in terms of the picture and audio quality. You know, I still have nightmares given what I do as a profession. So what we ended up concluding was that it shouldn't matter for most people except the most high end PC users and certainly from what has transpired from Hot Chips 2020, this is a symposium where various companies present their upcoming microprocessors or integrated circuits and Microsoft did a deep dive into the architecture of the Xbox Series X at this symposium. So if we look at this presentation slide here, what caught my attention immediately was the figure 10 gigabits per second with DSC. DSC stands for Display Stream Compression. FRL stands for Fixed Rate Link. So 10 gigabits per second fixed rate link with DSC. Obviously with HDMI 2.1, you get VRR and ALM. And the next line is even more interesting. There is stipulated support for 8K at 60 Hz. Now, we know that even with DSC, or Display Stream Compression, there is no way a 10 gigabits per second chipset can support 8K at 60 Hz, regardless of the bit depth and the chroma subsampling. So, what we can conclude then is that the chipset on the Xbox Series X must be 40 gigabits per second, similar to what is used on the LG CX. If we look at the edit of the LG CX, here you can see that it says 10 gigs at 4 lane FRL, which means that if you combine 4 lanes of 10 gigabits per second, then you get a total HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 40 gigabits per second. And that is probably what's going to be happening with the Xbox Series X as well. So the Xbox Series X next gen console will be compatible with the LG CX because you only need 40 gigabits per second. And I think the one remaining question is whether the new NVIDIA GPU or the AMD GPUs will be supporting 10-bit 444 at 4K at 120Hz because traditionally NVIDIA's consumer cards have only supported 8-bit or 12-bit output. They don't do 10-bit output. 10-bit output is only limited to their professional cards, their quadro cards. So I think, you know, when NVIDIA announced or reveal or launch their Ampere GPUs graphics cards on the 1st of September, which is in a couple of days time, they should support 10-bit output because let's be honest here, you know, it doesn't make sense for NVIDIA to ignore the vast majority of HDMI 2.1 TVs on the market which only has 40 gigabits per second, I say only, well, <laughs> this is how it is, only has 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. Because if you look at Samsung's 2020 QLEDs, even the top tier q 950 ts 8K QLED TV, within the edit, you can see that it only has 10 gigs at four lanes with DSC on top, obviously. But, the LG CX, 
you know, there has been, again, lots of debate whether the LG C9 would be a better purchase because it supports 48 gigabits per second. And I think that many CX or C10 owners will be quite happy now that the Xbox Series X will be using 40 gigabits per second. So, you know, you won't lose out on that front. And I think when the NVIDIA cards come out in a couple of days' time, I think, you know, they will support 10-bit output, you know, again, famous last words, given, you know, that I've made some wrong predictions before. But I think it doesn't make sense for NVIDIA to keep limiting the output on their consumer cards to only 8-bit or 12-bit because the vast majority of the HDMI 2.1 TVs on the market will be using 40 gigabits per second. I think the only ones with 48 gigabits per second would be last year's LG OLEDs, including the C9 and E9, and this year it will be the Sony XH90 or X900H, and probably some of the Vizios. The Vizios are not out yet, and the Sony XH90 hasn't received the necessary firmware update to unlock the full 48 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. So it wouldn't make sense for NVIDIA to lock out 10-bit output. So I really do hope that, you know, they will be thinking about the vast majority of the displays on the market. But at least from the point of view of the Xbox Series X, 40 gigabits per second is the way forward. And so far, I think LG C10 owners and also, you know, Samsung Q that owners will be very happy. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.